very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so of course we just want to keep you updated with our forex signals group and we have to admit that Monday we did not uh, do well uh, we made some losses and the signals went bad however uh, thankfully the members are having a very good uh, mentality and positive thinking they are aware that we can never have a good day always there will be some bad days and for that we have to be prepared this gentleman here he said to Angela hey don't worry for the bad day you are doing excellent and I'm still happy with your service and thank you my friend for that uh, kind uh, message however uh, that was on Monday let's see what happened on Tuesday yesterday as we can see we reduced the losses to the maximum 10 pips of loss 5 pips of loss and the third signal 15 pips of loss against 20 pips of loss on the Eurocad and 50 pips of profit for the USD GPY so that is our new system we are aiming to gain a lot more profits against the losses that is uh, what we are doing to, uh, to reduce the losses to the maximum and increase the profits to the maximum as well so uh, we are doing so far really well I think and uh, that can be seen in these good messages we have received from the members uh, this gentleman said I lost your card still good and beautiful this guy here also he said he have made almost $200 profit for one day that was May 19 which is yesterday so I'm really great uh, grateful and thankful for these uh, messages and I really hope you guys will enjoy uh, and make a lot of profit with our signals and I really wish it will be a very profitable week for everyone so if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact Angela you can find her contact details in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you there so let's move right now to the live trading session and today actually I'm planning to use some new technique which is the Fibonacci retracement for my scalping session actually Fibonacci retracement is not something new in my live trading sessions uh, for our new subscribers and followers in the channel you can uh, go to my videos and scroll down until you find one video I have uploaded one year ago about Forex easy way to use Fibonacci and you can follow it later with live trading forex with Fibonacci why this one has a 10,000 views while this one have 8.8 thousand views I don't know really because this video is totally based on the first one anyway uh, these two videos are very important in uh, order to understand what I'm about to do in this live trading video so uh, without further ado let me just uh, show you first that this is indeed my live account just a second my friends I just need to hide my account number as you know already I am I am only a trader I have really poor uh, video editing skills I'm just hiding where the account number will be shown and as you can see that is account number uh, is hidden and this is IC markets live server number 12 so we are on the live account that is not demo account uh, let me just uh, delete that and let's start right now with the session so I will go now to the 15 minute time frame and I will start with the pound NZD I'm just uh, trying to find a good and decent setups where actually I can find or locate the first attempt of each Fibonacci retracement and of course I'm not going to blindly rely on the Fibonacci retracement I will just uh, use them to confirm if this is indeed a good support or resistance level so right now the Fibonacci retracement uh, or oh sorry the pound, in, uh, pound Canadian is on Fibonacci uh, retracement 38.2 I will wait for it to reach uh, number 50 and if we look uh, closer let me just uh, okay adjust this one if we uh, look closer we can notice that this uh, level 50 here oh my god okay that's good okay so we can see that level 50 is indeed a good uh, level for Fibonacci retracement because we can see that it was a strong support in the past on the 15 minute time frame and then we already had a first attempt of the support so it's actually a good idea to place a buy order on the Fibonacci level 50 because as I said we're having here a strong support which has been recently broken out not only that of course we need also to study the chart we need to look at the bottom so we can see that we already having here a double bottom therefore uh, most likely the general direction for the pound Canadian uh, now is gonna head up therefore uh, placing buy order for this pair 
is actually gonna be the best option possible now all we need to do is just wait for some time until the pair uh, I think the candle is gonna fall down uh, very short in very uh, short time I mean sorry about that <laughs> okay I think it's gonna go down shortly just 13 pips more to go uh, let me now pause this video just until this happens or I will try to find some other pair to save your time I just wanted to show you this actually which is gonna be a wrong use of the strategy and I thought it's important to explain to you that we should not use this kind of uh, scalping so of course I see this uh, setup on the pound GPY and I have drawn my, fi my Fibonacci retracement like that now maybe someone who have learned the strategy recently he will think that okay we are having right here the pair is going down to Fibonacci 50 and I can place the buy order right here because we are having right here a support number one now of course that's totally wrong and I needed to explain this mistake because looking closer uh, looking uh, closer actually we can see that we are having right here two attempts of the support not only one there is attempt number one this one here and attempt number two right here as well therefore placing the buy order here is really wrong uh, wrong uh, call we have to wait some more time until the pair actually fall to Fibonacci 61.8 on 61.8 as you can see we are having right here a pure obvious uh, resistance levels resistance one and resistance two that resistance has recently become a support number one so placing the buy order for the pound GPY at this level 61.8 is gonna be more ideal and more uh, profitable since the pair most likely is gonna reverse right on that support level uh, since it's gonna be the support number two I wanted to bring your attention also that here also we can see it didn't work or the, the third attempt we can see that we're having right here a support number one and right here support number two and as you can see support number three has failed and the pair just continued falling more down uh, that's one example that we needed to talk about it's because a lot of uh, members actually falling to this mistake when they learn the strategy of Fibonacci they just keep placing the buy and sell on any uh, Fibonacci level which is totally wrong that is not how the strategy works I am seeing something very interest interesting right now for um, for the USD CAD as we can see uh, the pair is right now ranging on Fibonacci 61.8 and I'm going to place the sell order right now actually I was late I should have placed it right here anyway uh, let me explain the reason uh, first of all it is the first attempt of 61.8 61.8 in my opinion is like a golden jackpot for uh, uh, Fibonacci retracement we can always trust that level because most likely that is the strongest level in Fibonacci retracement because if the candles break out from the Fibonacci 61.8 that means the whole trend direction has been now changed Fibonacci 61.8 in, simp in uh, simple words meaning the breakout of a resistance or a support so if you see any candle breaking out of 61.8 that means that there was a trend somehow you need to draw it and you will find out that the trend has been broken and most likely the trend is not gonna keep its uh, direction anymore the direction of the trend will be changed most likely what will gonna happen is the pair is gonna fall again retesting the broken trend line and continue rising that's why 61.8 is one of the strongest levels and that is also another reason why we are trusting the first attempt of 61.8 because it's uh, not always happening that the pair or the candles can actually the market can break out from the 61.8 at the first attempt uh, it's happening but not that often time not not often anyway not only that of course we can see that we also had here a strong resistance in the past and that is a key resistance level on the 15 minute time frame and I'm actually relying on that resistance attempt so therefore uh, it's a good uh, setup let me now just set the take profit level on the nearest support and that is gonna give me approximately 10 pips of exactly 10 pips of profit which means $10 on this uh, small account uh, of course I'm using small account right now because I'm not opening many trades uh, this week also I think it's more ideal because uh, I'm sure the followers of uh, my channel are most of them are beginners and learning Forex therefore it's not really a good idea 
to show them some you know not realistic profits from big account um most of them are using small accounts like that and therefore i just wanted to show them what kind of profit they can really expect in case they followed uh, the, the strategy rules and uh, use the proper money management therefore i think uh, using small accounts is much better for the uh, those who are learning so let me just check the pound cad if it ha not yet okay uh, pound jpy still i need to wait I need to wait uh, for another 34 pips. That's a lot. Let me now try to find some other setup. And I can see the uh, Euro USD is showing me something good. First of all, you need to study the chart. You need to understand if it is right or wrong to, st to set buy or sell. For example, I was about to draw a Fibonacci retracement right here. Like that. And assuming that I can st uh, place a buy order on Fibonacci 61.8, that is actually gonna be totally wrong, because again we are on the 50, 50 minute time frame, and in general, we are right now on a resistance zone. That is the support zone here, by the way, and that is the resistance zone. Therefore, thinking about placing a buy order right here, mm, no, I don't really like it. That's gonna be wrong. Therefore, it's not really a valid setup and we should avoid it. So, of course, guys, we have to always be logic about our uh, picking of the trades and just think uh, wisely before we place them. Uh, let me just think right here. Okay, we are having something um, that makes sense. Let me draw Fibonacci retracement. Exactly, look at that. Check it out. We are exactly on Fibonacci uh, 38.2 on AUD CHF. I'm going to place the buy order i think we're just two pips away uh that's fine that's fine yes that's totally fine i have placed the buy order now of course looking at the left we can see that we are having here a strong support level most likely this support is gonna be support level here the market is gonna respect that level after the bullish breakout candle of that resistance so meaning that support level is gonna uh, keep its uh, position as a support and i'm gonna set my take profit level to be at the next fibonacci retracement which is fibonacci 23.6 let me just set the take profit level which is gonna be nearly uh, 22 pips uh, of profit equals 34 dollars let me try to find something else um not here uh, let me check the Fibonacci retracement on this uh, part on this uh, pair as we can see my friends actually it is a good idea to place the buy order as I said before exactly the same thing for the AUD CHF uh, we can see that we had here a previous support level however uh, that is really good practice look at that I want to bring your attention that if I draw that the the support uh, line manually, I will draw it exactly in this way. Look at that. If I place the buy order right here, I would have in loss of how many pips? Eight pips by far. Eight pips. However, Fibonacci retracement 50 level 50 have shown me exactly where I should draw my support line exactly right here. Even though by uh, naked eyes we can see that the support level was actually happening right here uh, however Fibonacci have saved me and uh, saved some time of my analysis and, and told me that no Salah you should draw your support line right here exactly on that previous resistance and we can see that the candles is indeed right now reversing that's a very good uh, practice and very good use of Fibonacci retracement let me now set my take profit to be exactly at the next retracement 38.2 and that's gonna give me approximately 12 <coughs> pips of profit. So I'm really happy because this is uh, a good practice uh, for those who are just learning the strategy. As you can see the trades are already going in a profit and I'm just gonna wait some more time until they actually hit the take profit levels. So let me now pause this video. I think um, uh, so far uh, USD CAD is going in four pips of profit. That's good. All right. So let me now pause this video and I'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with these running trades. And the USD CAD is very close to hit the tech profit level. Uh, it's gonna be a good profit of uh, 10 pips as I said. Um, 
USD, uh, AUDCHF is also going in 5 pips of profit and the CAD CHF is going in 2 pips of profit so all in all still going well I didn't find any other setups to show you my friends so let's just wait and see what will gonna happen with these trades and maybe we will close the video with these trades okay USD CAD almost hit the take profit level just less than a pip away I'm just gonna close this trade and uh, end it uh, let me now try to find some other trade to show you how we can uh, apply the Fibonacci uh, I mean let me show you more examples how to apply Fibonacci retracement so let me now uh, pause this video and I'll try to come back with another uh, setup okay yeah all right I think that's enough with these trades let me close them right now with the profit and end uh, this uh, video because I don't want to make it longer and also we need to make more videos about uh, Fibonacci retracement so this trade is gonna close now with almost 14 pips of profit and this one with almost five or six pips of profit i know it's a very small and tiny profit it's almost nothing however uh it's just uh, the beginning because i want to start uh, posting a few scalping videos about using fibonacci retracement and instead of making one long video i'm gonna make a few several uh, several uh, videos using the scalping in this way actually it's very helpful and uh, it's actually fun so, to be honest with you uh, because we can scalp on 15 minute time frame instead of going to the 4 hour chart and waiting the whole day for a good setups we can just uh, use Fibonacci retracement and uh, hopefully we will catch these good setups uh, quickly because we are using the 15 minute time frame look at that the pound cad the one I was waiting for actually that is the reason I closed the video early um, as you can see the pair reverse just like uh, one pip away before touching the entry level and as you can see right now it's going in 10 pips of profit we have missed that however um, I want you guys to practice uh, this kind of scalping and also please don't forget to refer to that video I showed you earlier the one that you can actually use uh, to learn how this strategy actually works so uh, there will be more videos coming about this uh, scalping in this way and in the end I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.